Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech. It's Sunday. It's 12:53 a.m. Uh, basically, just afternoon, and uh, we're gonna kind of talk about the Alcatel Seven. Is it worth your money in uh, midsummer 2019? Well. You won't be paying any money for it if you get it from Metro. And uh, I got this phone from C. Butler. I'll link his uh, channel below. And uh, he suggested doing a video on it. Well, why not? We needed some kind of fodder. And what are we using to record on? The Blue Studio Energy 2. I know I said in the previous video you probably wouldn't want to use the front-facing camera, but with open camera, you can play around and get a pretty darn good video out of it. Even forward-facing. We're not using any flash. This is just outside light pouring in from way back in the kitchen and through a kind of a translucent thermal curtain I have up to keep the heat out. Uh, let's get to the phone and I'll point out all the features and the things I've done to it to make it a lot better. Intro please. All right, folks, uh, we're uh, looking at the uh, Alcatel 7 here. This is a great phone. It's also my hotspot, if you look at me right now. We're going to have cable very shortly, so probably won't see any phones with a hotspot on them. And uh, I'm using it while it sits on the fast. Charge Senio uh, wireless charger, which is not plugged in by the way. I'm just using it as a phone stand, but that's normally how I charge it because I added one of these cool magic tags to it and a nice thin case, which I talked about in a previous video. You can find it, look for it, deal with it. I'm probably not going to link it. Uh, that big ass rocket you see sitting there that says United States on the side is a big ass rocket. Uh, that is only the second stage, the lunar excursion module container, the service module, and the capsule and escape tower at the top. So, it looks like it's leaned. It's not leaned. I, we were down in Huntsville the other day to get some parts, and we stopped at the rest area as you get into Alabama there near Huntsville, and uh, there it's that. So I had to run over and take a shot, and that's kind of me leaning back going, it's a million degrees out here, click, click, and I got my shots in, and we're stuck with what I got. Now, let's go back to this phone. Uh, C. Butler sent this over, as I mentioned in the intro. And uh, at first, I wasn't all that impressed. But in truth, this thing runs everything. Just fine on 2 gig RAM. So it comes with uh, 32 gig ROM, you know, in other words, onboard storage, but I have added uh, if I can find it. Uh, uh. Damn it. Uh, 
Well, yeah. I had it. So we got 128 gig free. Sorry about that. I thought I had this on the screen already, but apparently I didn't leave it there. Uh, we've used almost half of the internal storage before we moved everything over. Um, now I got the 128 gig uh, silicon power. Uh, micro SD in this puppy. Don't ever buy a phone that has 32 gig or even lower. We now have 160 gig on this phone. Whoa, dude, that's a boatload, isn't it? Yeah. It's a pretty quick phone. Uh, I'm going to kill apps. Poof, they're all gone. So, the other mods I've made to it, besides the charging and the storage, are, I don't know if you noticed, but this is Nova Launcher. So, you want to get to your app tray anywhere on the screen. Mm -hmm, there you go. Nifty handy, and I bought an icon pack called Smoking Glass, and it's on all the phones I currently have, except for the foldable phone. It just seems to be obscene to do that. Uh, this is an excellent product, and considering the current price, which you can get from Metro, Go to their website if you're opening a new account. You can get one of these for zero dollars. That's a pretty good price for this is a six inch phone. It's a little too big for me. I don't particularly like large phones. You know, my preference is my little very small comparatively speaking uh, 5.7 inch i know that doesn't sound like much it's like dude that's like uh, three tenths of an inch yeah but i have a case on this one so i'm happy with that and uh, it punches well above its specs I have Cyber Hunter on here, I have Asphalt Extreme, and PUBG, okay, uh, when you go to PUBG, you might need to load it like three times before it will actually load in, it may crash, I mean, 2 gig of RAM, it weren't built for that, but uh, other than that, I love this phone. That's why it's my daily driver. And the cool thing is, I get, you know, like this morning I got up and I went, crap, this phone's done like 64%. Well, what do you do? Well, if you've added wireless charging, which every phone, including the OnePlus, should come with, you just drop it here. And by the way, you could add that exact same magic jack if you weren't all obsessed with the Oh, it's got a beautiful back. Get over it. Uh, Travis McPee did a video on it. I've done a video on it. Adding wireless charging to just about any phone except the new mobile G3. And that's about all I have. So make sure for all those links I promised, read the description below and uh, give us a Thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell ding. Wow, this sounds pretty easy. I'll bet you even 
You can do it. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.